All right. Good afternoon, guys. I'm Dustin with RedlineStands.com. Today we're going to tell you a little bit about Titan's four post 7,000 pound lift. This is the non XLT version, which you can get the XLT, which is an extra length, extra height to lift it up higher if you're wanting to put uh, SUVs or something underneath. Uh, this unit does come as most uh, lifts do with the, uh, the anchor kit. Uh, so you got these guys here and we recommend using these anchors if you're going to be lifting up anything bigger than a car. If you're going to be picking up a half ton pickup truck, be smart, use the anchors. Um, this, thing, this, this lift has a lot of really interesting features to it. We're going to show these to you. The ramps, I love the way they do this. They make it to where it's really easy to take off and put on and you can do this on the back side. See, you've got these plates here that will allow you to take that ramp and put it in or make your stop plate. Now that way you can drive on one side and then switch it around and come off the other. I'm going to put this ramp back on so we don't drive the car off. Now if you'll come around over here and look inside of the tower what you're going to see is a lock mechanism. You, the first one you've got is about roughly 18 inches off the ground and then when it gets up a little bit higher, uh, around three or so feet, you, they're spaced out every three inches. Titan is really slick and that they're one of the only companies that sell the, uh, the 7,000 pound lift with the caster kit. It comes with uh, drip trays and a drag, jack tray, which we're going to go over in just a few minutes. Uh, and this is a, a really neat option in that they're not load bearing. So what you do is you, without a car on the lift, and we'll show you this here in a few minutes, you lift it up, put the casters in place, and then the weight of the runways will engage them and you can roll it around. Titan comes with a 110 volt power unit. These uh, are already pre-wired. Sometimes you're not going to have enough length uh, to get to a, uh, a wall outlet. So we definitely recommend that you use a short fat extension cord. Don't use a very long extension cord, you'll burn the motor up. Now I'm gonna go ahead and raise this all the way to the top. And while you're doing that, you'll be able to see the locks clicking into place also. And here we go. Now we've outfitted this lift with two Titan SJ35 jacks. These jacks are uh, optional, you know, you gotta get those separate. But these things are super, super handy in that when you pull a car onto a four post lift, it's still sitting on the tires. And when you raise it up in the air, even though it's elevated, it's still sitting on the tires. So if you're wanting to do uh, wheel work, uh, brake work, you've gotta have a jack like this. You slide it up underneath the car and it, and it slides the length once you do is you put your, in this case, adapters. Now, these jacks come with different adapters. This is a long one, and in this case, so it would fit the way we needed it to, we've got a short adapter and a medium adapter. And depending on what you're using is, you know, what you're driving is what you're gonna use. And these things are super easy to operate. You can see it's pick the back tires up, and if you get ready to, uh, to set it down, you've got a safety, safety lock here. This is this red knob, you push it over, and then this check valve right here, just nice and slow. Set her down. So if you decide not to spend the money on one of these optional sliding jacks, they uh, actually send you with a, a jack tray, a sliding jack tray. We'll go ahead and take a look at that now. Okay, this is the standard equipment for the Titan jack tray, sliding jack tray. This slides the length of the runways. You would put a bottle jack in here in case you didn't spend the money on the optional uh, frame jack. So I'm going to take this out of the way and then we're going to show you the, uh, the drip trays. Okay, uh, as again, I stated before, Titan does send you with three standard drip trays and this is what they look like. And this basically is to keep the oil from the top car dripping on to the bottom car. A lot of guys have old classic hot rods and uh, they're known to leak oil. So they just fit right there into the channel. It's that easy. Again, these are standard equipment with the Titan and uh, you know, it's a, lot of, a lot of headache. All right, guys, well, that's our Titan 7,000 pound standard four post lift. 
I'm going to go ahead and lift it back up off of the uh, safety locks. Disengage the locks and set it down. All right, now probably the last and, and neatest feature that we're going to show you about the, uh, the Titan 7,000 pound lift or the caster kit. Uh, the way these work is you, uh, you hook this the, H, the cross members here, and we've already got the other three done just for the sake of the video. We found the easiest way to do that is to lower it down uh, about to the bottom lock here and then get the feet poles here. And what happens is the weight of the cross member, the weight of the runways, pushes it down and pushes the, uh, the casters into place. Really easily done. Raise it up, get it off the locks, and release it back down, and you'll see that these feet, ever so slowly, will pick the towers up and allow you to move it around. All right, folks, now that we've got the, the casters in place and the towers lifted up, I'll show you just how easy it is, even for one guy to move this lift. And that is the Titan 7,000 pound four post lift. We hope you found it very informative and uh, if you need some more videos, go to redlinestands.com or find us on YouTube. Also, our telephone number is 901-351-4764. We appreciate you taking the time to watch our video and find it helpful. Have a good day.